What's up guys? How you doing? Today I have my chickens here. I'll be talking about how to do how to raise chickens. And if you want to grab like a notebook or something to uh write stuff down on, um that would I would suggest doing that right now. And I will get into it. Alright, well, the first thing you gotta do is you can buy chicks from, like, a co-op, like Country Visions. That's where I got all these from, except for that white one. That one we bought from Sunnyside Hatchery down in Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. And his name is Buddy. The rest of these I don't have names for, but the rest of them are hens. And Buddy is from my dad's play, uh, my dad's house. He has a bunch of roosters there because my grandpa ordered them, and then we took care of them. And I would kind of like to talk about Buddy right now. Um, yeah. So Buddy is a leghorn. He's a white leghorn. And he's got, um, yeah, like I said, he's from my dad's house. The reason why we don't have any other roosters is because they fight. And when there's girls around, the ro one rooster mates with all these girls. So if I go down and I show you the incubator in my basement, which that's what we hatch all the baby chicks out of... You can see all those eggs are fertilized, most of them, and that's when Buddy and these girls mate. And just like that, right there, that's what happens. And it's over with. And then they lay an egg, and it should be fertilized. And uh, if you guys are wondering, that white stuff over there is PVC pipe for the chicken coop. That blue barrel is going to be used for water catchment. So that white pipe is going to get screwed up on top there. And you're, we're going to use it for um, water so I can water my garden. So, anyways, yeah, Buddy was a small, a small one. And he got bit a lot. As you can see, if I get real close up here. He's kind of, um, there's a lot of bites on him. So, yeah, he was kind of small, so he got bit by the other chickens. And if they're small, so if you put, like, baby chicks in with these, they'll kill them. Or they'll bite at them. And then once they see blood, they'll just kill them and finish them off. And that's not really a fun job to put them up put them in the uh, dirt and bury them in that. I don't want to get into that too much. So, yeah. They have... They lay a bunch of eggs for me, and they, um... They... I sell the eggs for $2 for a dozen. Uh dozen and a half is like four or five dollars and that would be a good egg price to sell your eggs at because I didn't do any math but when I um when I do when I do sales like selling eggs and that I didn't do any math of how much the feed costs, which I usually get it on sale for 11 bucks a bag, and I use sprout poultry litter for these guys. That one with the feathers picked out, that one is shedding. They call that molt molding or molting. And you, what you do or what they do is at a year and a half, which these guys just turned a year, like, a month ago, they, um, get new feathers, 
and yeah and then they keep growing new ones and these chickens will last for six seven or eight years that's their lifespan and then I just turned 11 a couple days ago, so, um, yeah, they're, I, um, when I, when I'm, like, 17 or 18, these chickens, hopefully, will still be alive, but I don't think so, we'll probably sell them by then, because after, like, four or five years, they don't lay eggs. And this one over here that's in this corner, this black one, she's also from my dad. We ordered 10 chicks. Buddy, um, that white one, that white leghorn that's over there, he was um, one that was small, and he was an extra one that we didn't order. Now, that black one right there, he was, or she was one from my dad that was a girl and she my dad brought him brought brought her over so she could live with my chickens and he as you can see the other chickens picked at her feathers like right there you can see those brown spots that's her skin so yeah this I just kind of wanted to talk to you about this video. The next video will probably be more about egg laying and my baby chicks that I'd like to talk to you guys about. So as you can see, this one right down here, that one right there, looks like he's pretty talkative. So, alright, see you guys on the next one. Subscribe and like, hit that like, thumbs up button. See ya.